Hello everyone, this is Jeff once again with Zucor Marketing. We're based out of San Antonio, Texas, and as promised, here's your website analysis. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get more customers online. We're also going to run through a couple of things that you can implement right now and aside from reviewing your website, we're also going to look at one of your top competitors' website and show you how they're currently beating you online and what you can actually do differently to counteract that. So first, we'll start off with your website. You actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo at the top. You have your call to action. You also have good photos, nice layout, good amount of contents, the services that you offer. So there's actually just some few things we're gonna get over with first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. One thing you can tell right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google actually would like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google size. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you'd want to have 1500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just first to see how many words you have on your homepage. All right, so currently you have 3,239 words, which is actually a perfect number. So you've already exceeded the goal of 1500, which means your Google is already, or I mean your website is already being considered by Google as a trustworthy website. Another thing we like to talk about are keywords. Google is also looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times in your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I did a quick search of the roofers in one of the areas you're servicing. We'll talk more about the results that we have here. Starting off with the first one, this is what we call the sponsored or the paid ones where people are actually paying ads for their website to show up here. So we're not gonna be talking much about the paid ones, but rather we'll move on to the next part. So this right here is what we call the map pack. And of course, this is something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of attention, a lot of traffic, and they're easier to find. One way for you to actually be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile where you'll enter as much information as possible, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also, if you add those same information into as many directories as possible, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, that'll really help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Moving on to the next part, these are what we call the organic searches. So these are all the websites that actually ranks higher without people paying for any ads just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I pulled up one of the top ranking websites. Let's see what they have differently. So for their website, they also have their logo at the top, their phone number. They also have good photos and good amount of contents as well. Let's go ahead and move on to the numbers. So we have here Ahrefs, one of the paid tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. So we'll be talking more about the numbers starting off with DR. This is the level of trust that Google has in your website and UR is the strength of your website. Backlinks on the other hand, these are other websites that refers to your website. So they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and the like. One important thing that I need to discuss about backlinks and referring domains is that this actually needs to be a 2 to 1 ratio. So this 146 referring domains that you have, these are what we call the good or strong backlinks. And the rest of the missing backlinks, these are what we consider the spammy backlinks. Let's go ahead and take a look at your competitor's website. So for their website, um, starting off with DR and UR, it actually shows that they have more numbers, which means Google finds their website a much more trustworthy and a stronger website. That's also because they have more backlinks. They also have more keywords, which resulted to more traffic. Now, all you need to do differently is that after increasing the number of backlinks and adding more keywords, you just need to make sure that you also increase the strong backlinks for you to have a much better ratio. And as a result, you'll definitely get more traffic out of it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the strong backlinks and the keywords that they're using. Let's discuss the importance of this too, especially in making your, web, your website stronger and better. Starting off with the referring domains, these are all the directories they're currently listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic. That's why they're also ranking higher in the searches. 
Next are the organic keywords. These are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are the total number of people that searches for these specific keywords on Google every month. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way, more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. Another thing we like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So for every photo that you have listed on your website, you can actually rename them with a hidden keyword instead. That way, you'll be able to have more hidden keywords added into your website. And not only that, of course, for those keywords to not to be repetitive on your website as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can do to improve your rankings, first, the backlinks, where we're going to add your information to more directories as possible. That way, we can actually bring you more traffic and, of course, the higher chances of your website in appearing in most of the map pack searches. Last but not the least will be the keywords, where we're going to help you out in adding more keywords and, of course, choosing the right ones. That way, more customers will be able to find your website quicker and easier. So these are all the things that you can actually implement right now. And of course, we can also help you out in making these changes and more with the goal of getting you many new customers. I'm also going to be following up just to get some feedback about the ideas I discussed on this video. So I really do appreciate your time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.